that is. Yeah. Do you want some? Want some? Want some? All right, so I'm out here on Leech Lake. Uh, I'm trying something out that I've never done before. Basically, uh, I'm going to try fishing for some eel pout. I've never fished for eel pout, much less caught them before. If that doesn't work, maybe we'll move to Tula Bee, though. I'm, this is a big lake, and I'm here by myself, so moving around uh, on these ice roads is a little bit, I don't know, odd. <laughs> They're really narrow and whatnot, and I don't exactly know where they go or where they end until I get there. I'm even on an ice road. Uh, you can probably not see it behind me there. But right there, there's a sort of a road that somebody else made. Um, which is not an official road, it's not plowed, and uh, my truck doesn't have four-wheel drive, so I'm not sure if, uh, how much trouble it's going to be for me to get back out of here. So here's what I found, is um, somebody else's spot for a permanent shelter off, the point of, off of a point here, and I did two holes, and there's my camera that I got set up. I'm going to use this kind of tool here to aim it because I have found that it can be difficult to look for a jig and uh, hopefully that's a quicker route. This one actually does come with a sunshade. Uh, wow. But, ever the forgetful person, it is somewhere, not here, so. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. I do want to see bottom, so. All right, ignore my poor man's panner. It is what we have to work with for now. You know, maybe a little bit more than that even. I don't think our angles are quite working to our advantage, huh? That look like when we do it that way. Okay. So, yeah. That's our height. For some reason everything's at an angle though, so I don't know, we might bring it up and try to straighten that out. Okay. Uh. Oh, there we go. A little bit more. Well, I suppose so long as the rope is straight up and down. We're not at an angle, huh? I don't know how this is going to work today, but we're going to give it a try. Hopefully we end up with something. Okay, let's get this aiming line out. And we're going to get a lure down, huh?
the air temperature isn't that bad, but you can see the holes kind of freezing over a little bit. So let's get started and go for it. I always forget a few things, and uh, lately it's been uh, something to kneel on. Today it's water and a hat, too. In the target walleye video, he dropped a lot of a lot of walleye or a lot of uh, minnows while he was doing this, and I can see that's a standard thing that happens. And I'm still very tempted to drill another hole, kind of behind me that way. Kind of behind me and to the right. Oh, actually, holy crap. That was a meal pout. He ate one of the minnows that came off, I do believe. In targeting walleyes, he used a, uh, just almost a thumb sized gumball head, uh, with a glow head. And I do have a couple of those in the car, but my sister's significant other had recommended these kind of heavy weighted spoons. So I'm gonna go with this for now. Oh. I lost another minute. Out. I thought about moving, uh, but, you know, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I did see, I think, at least two, maybe three eel pout in this location. And, uh, <coughs> even though I haven't caught any, uh, I figured that's better than being completely unsure at this point. I almost wonder if I should have uh, brought some dead ones that stunk, you know, <laughs> have some stronger odor down there. Oh, that was close. I think I'm in the right spot even. Coming back. Oh, he was so close. That's rotten. Oh, man. Maybe I should have stopped jigging when he came through, but I don't know. Well, we have some downtime. Uh, I'd love to hear from anybody watching this video. I'd love to hear from anybody watching this video telling me ways in which I can improve uh, this channel. Things that you think you like seeing more of. Any ways that I could get... Uh, I mean, what kind of things make you comment and follow a channel like this? I think I got bumped again, didn't I? Whoa. Whoa. And targeting walleyes, they uh, they had a problem with the with the eel pouts just attacking the heck out of their camera, and I think that's what we're having here. But yeah, so talk to me a little bit about what things encourage you, have made you in the past engage with channels, and uh, subscribe and share channels. 
and comment in the in the comments, of course. So I'd like to hear from you guys. Hear what works and what you think doesn't work. Also, tell me how you how you came across this channel uh, for this video if you're watching. You know, tell me, did it just kind of pop up in your feed? Did somebody share it with you, or uh, was it kind of in a topic that you guys tend to follow? So, yeah, give me a little bit of feedback in the in the comments if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate a like and share, subscribe, all those things. I'm really trying to build this channel and hoping to at some time maybe even you know monetize so eel pout are one of the types of fish that I've never actually caught before I've actually seen them once or twice up close and personal because when I'm snorkeling sometimes you can find them hiding underneath rocks which is kind of a funny trick um, I was diving in a culvert or in front of a culvert and there was a rock pile and I looked down and this fish the front end of this fish was just looking at me, and I couldn't quite figure out what it was. And when it took off, I realized that it was an eel pout with a little bit of help from a friend who I later described it to. So It was a very small one, uh, not much bigger than what you see in, in kind of a medium-sized perch, really. Maybe even a large perch, but... Still pretty small. Last time I was beating the crap out of the surface, or I mean the bottom of a lake like this, I brought in a bass. I didn't catch it, I jigged it right above its nose, and I bounced it off its head, and that was that. Was that. So yeah, the fact, uh, one of my goals is to catch one of each type of, uh, one of each type of fish that I can legally catch in Minnesota. Obviously that rule is somehow, uh, can't really get the, uh, shovel nose? That's not right. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but... I'd like to catch, obviously, one of these to get closer to that. And I think I've mentioned it before. One of the ones that I have not been fortunate enough to catch in spite of actually catching some pretty nice uh, northerns from 40 inches and 43 inches. Uh, in spite of those facts, I've never caught a walleye. So, and obviously, that's out of season right now. So I figured I would try one of the other species that I've never caught. So today is a an eel pout adventure. If my jigging seemed to be rhythmic just a little bit ago, I was listening to Bex Loser. Come on, you. Come on, you. I'm telling you, they just, they're hitting the camera for some reason. It's the same thing they found on that other channel. Going nuts with the camera here. There we are. Now we're going to overcorrect, I'm sure. You know, this summer, maybe if I have time, I'll come back out here. Or maybe Woman Lake or one of the other area lakes 
and do some crayfish trapping because I would really like to catch some crayfish and make some dishes out of those. Camera's kind of jittery. Wonder if it's get, getting bumped again. I mentioned Markham earlier. This is uh, this camera is a knockoff one called EOYO. I'm not going to do a review on it or anything, but uh, you know it's an okay starter. the The quality of the video isn't great, especially if it's not sunny outside or if the water is even a little bit murky. The quality goes down quite a bit. I'm amazed because I never realized how clear Leech Lake is, but it is just do you want some? Want some? Want some? Oh, yes! Yes! Here we go. Get rid of that. Yes! Come on, buddy. I hear that they tend to curl up at the bottom of the ice hole. Yes! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Okay. Those two were kind of competing for it. I don't know if either of them would have bit it if uh, if it weren't for the fact that they were kind of competing for which one was, was going to get it. They didn't have time to think, did they? Oh, man. Not the biggest eel pout in the world, I'm sure. All right. I'm going to... Okay, let's see. Hey. Alright. There we go. Ooh, that's cold. Hey Siri, take a photo. Oh. 